exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you. Back to you Love Soon we'll be making a model run The love boat Promises something for everyone Set a course for adventure Your mind on a new road Please. Miss McCoy is our cruise director. Ah. Uh, Burl Smith, the function yeoman purser. Call me Gopher. Gopher is small rodent. Makes burrows, yes? <laughs> That's him. <laughs> ah, it's joke. <laughs> yes, I'm Isaac Washington, chief bartender. Uh, Adam Bricker, Miss Mashenkov. So nice to meet you. Your function? Uh, ship's doctor. Could we possibly inquire as to what your function might be? Uh, Miss Mashenko's function, Dr. Bricker, is commissar of cruise vessels for the Soviet Union. Really? Oh, that's great. Our State Department has invited the commissar to sail aboard the princess to observe our procedures. Uh, we were expecting a gentleman to accompany uh, you and as a liaison to show you around, explain the technicality. He fell down with pneumonia, has weak Western constitution. <laughs> I sail alone. I'm sorry, I'll find you someone. He will do it. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. There's going to be a boatload of gorgeous girls. I get stuck with Ivan the Terrible? Well, make the best of it. You can always pretend that you're Melvin Douglas and she's Greta Garbo. Oh, too bad she is. Greta Garbo wanted to be alone. <laughs> Songwriter. That too. <laughs> Listen, I'll do the others later, okay? I thank you. I'll do them. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is he with anybody? Not yet. <laughs> Son of a gun. She's stealing my act. <laughs> oh, Lord. Charlie, I think I left an egg boiling on the stove. Philadelphia. We've been gone for three days. Yes, I know. What do you think? I think it's probably done. Oh, Charlie, you're a big help. You know, June, in the 14 years since we've been married, we've had one business, two houses, three lovely children, and we've consumed thousands of eggs. And you know, this is the first vacation we've ever had alone. And this cruise is going to be just for you and me. Everybody must be anxious to sail. We're only missing one couple. The Wilsons. Oh. Honeymoon suite. Oh, their luggage arrived hours ago. Well, if they don't show up, I hope their luggage drops them a card. <laughs> Maybe when it came time to I do, they didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't come up now. 
Dum, dum, ba, dum, go Wilson. And there's Matt. <laughs> stay that way for 40 years, they'll have a happy marriage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only hope that our crews can help repay you for the great pleasure your music has given us. Well, you're flattering me, Captain, but I love it. Thank you. Thank you. no admiral i run the ship oh you got demoted huh <laughs> well i'd like to keep chatting with you but i do have to sail the ship that doesn't sound so hard <laughs> young lady meryl meryl stupid yes dolores oh dolores strickland Georgina's sister. This is Vicky. Hmm. We've met. Georgina's daughter. Ooh. Vicky's going to stay with us in Acapulco. I had planned to take the cruise with her, but the last minute things came up. Her heart was set on the cruise. I'll fly down and meet her when the ship docks. I checked with the line. They said it wouldn't be a problem. No. No problem. It must be fate. You'll be here to keep an eye on her. I'm sure Georgina would be very pleased. Yes. How is Georgina? My mom is in heaven. I uh, thought you knew. Georgina passed away. Eight months ago. provide some amusing activities for you while you're aboard. Huh? You'll have fun. Mm. You're a nice man, Captain Steubing, but you should learn to relax. Now, excuse me, sir. Just open the door here. Mademoiselle? Did you hear something? What kind of something? Probably a monster. Oh, a monster. <laughs> There, you see? No monsters. They hide when the lights are on. Yeah, better check the bathroom. <laughs> I stay with you, Captain Stubing. I bet you don't have any monsters. Well, I don't. Please. Please. Well, I suppose we can find some room for you in my cabin. Don't you just love the 
the candles in the pool? It's frivolous and decadent. Ah, we think people on holiday deserve a little of both. Isaac, you are bartender here. Yes? Chief bartender. Why is it you do not do something more important? What? And throw away four years of bartender school? Mrs. Mishenko, if you're going to put down Isaac, I hardly Oh, wait, think hold it, Doc. I don't think she is. I think uh, she just wants to know why I like being a bartender. It's correct. Yeah, I like this job best because I get to meet people. I mean, all kinds of people. People are where it's at for me. That means I like people. But the most important thing is I got to choose this job. Someone else didn't choose it for me. Sometimes it is better if others tell you what to do. Ah, well, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Compliments of Miss Mishenkov. Russian vodka, 100 proof. She sent three cases on board as a gift. Well, thank you. Yes. Oh, there's nothing frivolous about that. <laughs> Miss Mishenko, how does someone as young as you come to have such a responsible position? Oh, in Soviet Union. We are given jobs because of ability. Wisdom is not so a province of gray heads. It's not so a province of men, either. You malign us. Women occupy positions of great responsibility in this country. Julie, for example, being a cruise director is a very responsible job. Candles in the pool. You are responsible for that? Yes. Will you become captain of this ship? Oh, sure, when everyone else on the ship falls overboard. <laughs> Will you join me in a toast to hope one day Western women will emerge from bondage? Absolutely. To Western women emerging from bondage. Excuse me a moment. Doc, what about the toast? Whole wheat, please. No butter. <laughs> Your uh, doctor, Bricker, he likes blonde ladies, yes? <laughs> Doc likes all the ladies. He does not seem to like me. Oh, well, Doc goes for the slinky type. What means slinky? Slinky. Oh, I understand. I understand. Hey, well, it's about time for dinner. I'm sure you'd like to go and change. I am changed. Oh, excuse me, I goofed. I am yes, now you... Yes. What means goofed? Goofed, uh, hmm. I messed up. I, 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 I blew it. I, I, I stuck my foot in my mouth. I, I, I... It's all right. I understand. <laughs> Real smooth, McCoy. Real smooth. <laughs> You're dressed. Mm -hmm. And you're not. That's right. You want to join me? Oh, well. I thought I'd forego that great big dinner tonight and just take a couple of nibbles on your ear. Oh, honey. How do we get our signals crossed like this? I mean, I would have liked a little advance warning or... Maybe some champagne or something to get me in the mood. Is that another no? No, it's it's not no. It's just things used to be different. Used to write songs about me. I'll get dressed. <laughs> I want to be slinky. <laughs> you 
seen that couple the ones who came on bombed out of their minds? Nah, probably haven't left their cabin. Well, that's how it is with newlyweds. As soon as the ship gets underway, so does the honeymoon. <laughs> Isn't your apartment? <laughs> Good Lord, we're surrounded by water. Uh, maybe the water cooler exploded. <laughs> I fail to see the humor, Miss Beale. Let me see. We were in the office, and I was giving you a letter to Mr. James McWhorter of Unified Marine Products. Right. Then uh, Mr. Gerber came in and dragged us to an office party. Which I make it my policy never to attend. Well, that was some fruit punch. Oh. <laughs> Remember you said something about taking me to see that new Japanese freighter in port? Good Lord, we're on our way to Tokyo. <laughs> Pretty fancy freighter. Well, do you remember anything else? Hmm? You know, like, well, uh, did we... <laughs> we had trouble making sense, let alone Whoopi. <laughs> I've got to go find the captain. I won't apologize, Miss Beale. Your reputation has been compromised. I wouldn't say that, but we could work on it. Night in Vegas. <laughs> Who ordered the duck well done? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brussels sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I have duck like everyone else? Don't you want to grow up big and healthy? I think there's a lot to be said for small and sickly. <laughs> Young lady, if you don't finish everything on that plate, there will be no dessert. What's for dessert? Chocolate eclairs. You drive a hard bargain. I'm a slave to my sweet tooth. Oh, Irma. Oh, Meryl, please, let's get some. Now, what happened to that diet you started this morning? I'm a slave to my sweet tooth. Uh, Captain is amazing. Captain. Uh, yes. I was just saying it's amazing. You and Vicky have exactly the same eyes. you to the captain's table. In Russia, I eat with people. Hey, I'm people. Shall this we? lady is my assignment. Take a hike. appreciates transformation, yes? Appreciates? The doctor's stunned. Can I buy you a drink? Draw you a bath? Give you an alcohol rub? <laughs> Not like alcohol rub. I've already had baths. I take drink. Oh, anything. Waiter. 
Champagne. Oh, champagne, no. It's not a drink for the proletariat. Well, what would you like? Oh, I would like my vodka. Uh, waiter, uh, some of Miss Mashenkov's vodka. <laughs> well, for a man who wasn't very hungry, you certainly seem to be enjoying your dinner. Well, I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I'd had the appetizer I'd planned in the cabin. That's what I like about you, Charlie. You're so, so subtle. songwriter ever to come out of Syracuse University? I was. How about the other half of that exciting team? Bert? Still married to this bum? Breaks, I guess. <laughs> Give me a hug. Oh, swell. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to continue sharing this stateroom. Well, we just have to make the best of it, won't we? <laughs> no, we'll get off the first port and fly home. Oh. But we can still go dancing tonight. No, I want to finish that letter to Mr. McWhorter. Now? Now. Uh, Mr. James McWhorter, Unified Marine Products. Uh, Mr. Marshall. Yes? There's something I've been trying to tell you for a long time. See, the truth of the matter is, I have a very big crush on you. <laughs> yes, well, um, dear Mr. McWhorter, <laughs> regarding your complaint about our latest shipment of semaphore flags. Wait a minute. Didn't you hear me? I just poured my soul out to you. Um... Regarding your complaint about our recent shipment of semaphore flags, I feel... You feel? You don't feel anything. You're just a cardboard cutout with a, a heart of stone. <clears throat> well, you can take your dictation and your two-bit secretarial job and your semaphore flags and just shove them in your briefcase! <laughs> away a great pension plan. Syracuse University. Very late. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is my old girl. She's my old friend and collaborator. As a matter of fact, perhaps the better songwriter of the two of us, which is probably why she married him, because as you can see, it certainly wasn't a matter of looks. <laughs> well, how about a song you wrote together? See, the requests for my music never stop pouring in. Hey, you remember this one? The rhyming song. Oh, why? Come on, you want to hear him do it? Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. This is the first big hit. Here we go. Remember it now? You're my sweet sensation I don't want no imitation You're a positive inspiration Filling me with dedication A kind of exhilaration Fascination, adoration And to make a generalization Baby, I love you Second verse 
Same as the first. Honey, honey you're my sweet, sweet sensation. I don't want no imitation. You're a positive inspiration, inspiration filling me with dedication. As a kind of exhilaration, fascination, and adoration. And to make a generous agent, baby, I love you. It will have the termination, even after graduation. We love you. Too much vodka and not any dinner. Oh, then be careful. Drink slowly. <laughs> Two counter marks. Oh, but she grew in Groucho. <laughs> I think you've had too much. Hold your glass still. <laughs> to the east and the west. To the north and the south. She had everything. She sure had us. Not literally, you understand. <laughs> Still writing songs? <laughs> no, a jingle now and then, but after a whole day's work in an advertising agency... Now he makes money, not music. Honey, Bert makes money. And music. Would anyone like to go to the Acapulco Lounge and dance? Oh, I'd love to. It's been years. Come on, Bert. Okay. Excuse us. Bless Julie and Gopher and Doc and Isaac and especially Captain Steubing because he's very nice even if he doesn't want people to know and God please take care of my mommy and make sure that she doesn't hurt anymore Amen you before. I'm not really afraid of monsters. Oh. I just didn't want to be left alone. Nobody likes to be left alone. My daddy died when I was just a little girl. I know. I hardly remember him at all. But my mommy. Sometimes Sometimes I miss her. I miss her so much. Why did she have to die? Time to be 
born. Time to die. Time to every purpose under heaven. But I loved her. <laughs> so did I. stuck in a cabin with that crumb. Oh, no, no, no. Don't be hasty. All newlyweds have these little spats. Kiss me. Huh? You're not fooling around. Kiss me. even married. You're not. I'm Miss Beale, Mr. Marshall's secretary. We're not even supposed to be on this ship. Oh, good. Can I put you in the Wilson's cabin? <laughs> I'm in a great deal of trouble. Oh, trouble. I just told Mr. Marshall I loved him. And he told me. <laughs> he must be bananas. <laughs> What am I do? Well, I'll tell you what you're not going to do. You're not going to waste any more tears over him, right? Well. You are going to circulate. You're going to meet people. You're going to dance the night away. Yeah, you're going to have a ball. I mean, let him see what he's missing. You're going to be the life of the party. Oh. <laughs> well, we may have to come up with an alternate solution. <laughs> great, doesn't he? You have to admit, he still has those bedroom eyes. Mm-hmm. You can't take them off you. I, I can't get this one. Oh, I'll do it. <sighs> know something? I can't keep my eyes off you either. Really? How come you don't say those things more often? Oh, I can't. Oh, June. I can't win. 
Look, maybe I don't always say the things I feel. Maybe I'm not the most romantic fellow in the world. Maybe I'm not Bert. Oh, Charlie. Oh, the bath's running over. Charlie, you know, I didn't mean to compare you to Bert. All I meant was that... Miss Beale, Sandy, you're the most wonderful woman I've ever met. Oh, I am? I just want to take you in my arms and kiss you. <laughs> and kiss you. Go! And kiss you. Oh, go! I can just imagine carrying on with strange men. Well, I had no choice. The only person I know on board had too much work to do. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> stole my pajamas. <laughs> I know I had a vodka or two. And the next thing I remember, I was back in my baby carriage. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh. Oh. Dear Dr. Bricker, thank you for a wonderful evening. I take you to bed. Mm -hmm. You are a good man. Hey. Hey, she gave you an A. That's her initial. A is for Anya. Oh, I see. Well, Doc, she says here she took you to bed. <laughs> oh, that's one for the books, isn't it? Adam Bricker, legendary seducer of women, seduced and abandoned himself. <laughs> Trees. Go fish. <sighs> Do you have any jacks? Excuse me. Do you have any jacks? <sighs> jacks? <laughs> jacks. It's so nice here. I wish I never had to leave. Yeah, I'm sure that your aunt and uncle are nice, aren't they? Oh, yeah. 
I have a house that looks like a castle, and it has a swimming pool. And my cousin Jimmy can go swimming at night, and even in the winter. Sounds like you have a lot of fun there. Yeah. I like Aunt Dolores and Uncle Harry. I like you a whole lot, too. Let's go see if the chef can whip us up a real special breakfast. If it's liver, I'm eating out. <laughs> In Russia, women wear outfits like this, but only for running in track and field. Oh, well, here women wear them to make the men come running. <laughs> ah. If those shorts don't clinch things with the eminent Dr. Bricker, I'll eat my hat. You wear no hat. Oh, no, see, that's just an expression. It, it is. Ah. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Miss Malenko. <laughs> I know you're used to a dictatorship, but there are certain things we just don't dictate. We have a two-party system here, and we don't do any lovemaking unless both parties agree. And we don't go around taking advantage of helpless people. I mean, you could have at least asked in a nice way. Excuse me. You were going to eat a hat? <laughs> Morning, sir. Morning. Phantom returns. I'm sorry, I didn't know how late it was. You must have had a hint when it stopped being dark. I just get tired of being compared to birds. Nobody does that but you. You still blame me, don't you, Charlie? For what? For getting pregnant. For giving you the responsibility of a family when all you really wanted to do was to be free and write songs and, and be what Bert is. What in hell are you talking about? I wanted our family as much as you did, more than anything. Noble Charlie to the very end. Oh, June. After all these years, you haven't got the faintest idea how I feel about you. You made that pretty clear last night. I'm going to eat. Wait a minute, I'll, I'll get changed. Oh, don't bother. I understand they serve a perfectly wonderful breakfast for frustrated ladies on this boat. Bill, I've been thinking. I don't suppose it would hurt to spend some time together. She's no, afraid not. She has other plans. Besides, you're getting off the ship in Acapulco this evening. But have a nice flight back to the office. <laughs> well, goodbye, Miss Beale. Ta-ta. You just blew my life. Andy, Andy, trust me, men like women who play hard to get. What if he gets off the boat in Acapulco? He's not leaving the ship. You saw his face. It's caving in. You want to see caving in? Look at my face. <laughs> Hi. Oh, good morning. Have you seen Bert? Yes, we had breakfast together. Oh. Oh, you two have been um, spending quite a bit of time together. Hmm. That's all it is. Time. That man is carrying a torch a mile high for some girl. Really? I love you, you know. I love you, you know. Like we loved long ago. Tell me, do you still remember? Don't ever go. Can't we just sail on together? Baby, now it's old. We'll never make it new. That's pretty. Now, what are you doing here? You weren't supposed to hear any of this. But... Hey, go on. 
Please. Please. Captain, of course. I uh, just thought I'd come down and have you take a look at my uh, my elbow. It's been giving me some trouble lately. Well, sure. Come on over. I'll give it the once over. Uh, what's the problem? Well, it uh, just sort of hurts. Tell me, Adam, have you given any thought to living on land again? Living on land. Yes. You know. Nice house, lots of room, a garden. Close to playgrounds and schools. Hmm? You're pretty stuck on Vicky, aren't you? More than just that. One time I was very close to her mother. I see. And you think the fact that you have the same eyes is perhaps more than a coincidence? No. It's not impossible. Well, nothing's impossible. But does it really make any difference? Meryl, Vicky needs a home. I know. That's why I was thinking oh, that maybe I... Oh, you'd be lousy on land and you know it. She needs more than a daddy. She needs a mother. Other kids, she needs more than you can give her. I just thought... Well, Doctor, as usual, your diagnosis is faultless. I only wish that prescription weren't so hard to fill. Well... Take care of that elbow. Thanks. Oh, Doctor, you surprised me. Yeah, you surprised me, too. Last night was not what you think. I did not. I would not. How you say? I tuck you in. You mean? I, like mother with baby. I fold up clothes neat. I kiss you on the cheek. And I go away. So I, I, quietly, I don't wake you up. Oh. Guess I owe you an apology. I did kind of yell at you. It was a very quiet yell. It's all right. It made me feel at home. <laughs> Doctor has temper like Russian man. Oh? I mean what I say in the notes. I had very good time. You are a good man. I hope we can be friends. Just friends? Stooping, how are you? Oh, fine, fine. I think she's having the time of her life. No, no trouble at all. I've enjoyed having her. Now, look, Dolores, we'll be docking around 8 this evening, and, oh, I was wondering if I might keep Vicky an extra few hours. But we're having a party on board, and she's been looking forward to it. Around 10. Fine. See you then. Good. I don't want to 
go. Why can't I stay here with you? Vicky. Why couldn't I? Now look, you have an aunt and uncle who love you very much. You'll be much happier living with them than with a grouchy old seaman. You aren't grouchy. You're the best. You'll have vacations. You can visit me. And someday, when you get a little older, who knows? You might make a fine cruise director like Julie. There is nothing in this whole world you won't be able to do when you're ready. You mean like... There's a time for everything. I love you, Captain Merrill. I told you he had no intention of leaving. Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Hey, don't do this. You're making a fool out of yourself. Well, I'd rather be a fool than alone. <laughs> wait! Wait! Miss Beale? I don't want you to leave. Well, I think it's only fair that I do. Oh. Then you and your gentleman friend can have the cabin for yourselves. Oh, all that stuff with Gover was just an act? To make you open your eyes. Well, it worked. Oh. It made me realize that you and I could never make a go of it. Oh, please. Well, look at you. You're young and you're lovely. You have a great personality. You need to be with someone you can have fun with, not an uptight jerk like me. Miss Beale, Sandy, I can never make you happy. You mean you want to make me happy? Yes, that's why I'm leaving. Well, I know a much better way. <laughs> Get that assault kissing down those nights. <laughs> drinking vodka. <laughs> Listen, Anya. You must call me Anushka. It's affectionate for him, Anya. You will call me Anushka. Anushka? Anushka? Uh, Anushka. Uh, it's, it's all very fine to talk about uh, animal attraction, but when we talk about love, <laughs> it, it makes me a little nervous. Oh, oh excuse me. I, uh, I goofed. Again. No, 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 it, it's me. You see, I've taken the plunge four times, and each time I've come up empty-handed. Yeah, I don't... You, 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 Look, Anushka, there have been four Mrs. Dr. Brickers. I guess you think that's pretty decadent. No, I think that is very sad. <sighs> Perhaps you lose four wives because you run too hard. Like the passionate Russian poet, you want to experience life and you sample here and you sample there when what could make you happy is right under your nostrils. You're probably 100% right. But if I'm ever going to have anybody under my nostrils, 
I'd want it to be you. Ah. <laughs> You like Morpia now. some white wine. No, thanks. Oh, come on, honey. Snap out of it. We've been dreaming about this vacation for years. We've been dreaming about something, Charlie, but I hardly think it's been this vacation. That's the trouble with bar tuxedos. You, you can never guarantee the size. <laughs> well, you me. <laughs> well, listen, if you'd like to get closer, I think there's room in there for you. Well, let's just see. Oh, <laughs> you look very beautiful. I doc, I'm only ten. <laughs> to be so late. This slinky business takes much time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you're in for a great treat. As you may know, Bert Buchanan is on board, and tonight he's going to introduce a brand new song, so we'll be the first to hear tomorrow's hit. Ladies and gentlemen, Bert Buchanan. <laughs> Once upon a time, I went to college with two wonderful people. Two of us were songwriters. The other was the most terrific girl you'd ever want to meet. And as those things happened, we both fell in love with her. I've had a lot of luck since then, a lot of success. In fact, I think I've gotten everything I ever wanted. Except one. The girl. He got her. And with it, a lifetime of happiness greater than anything I've ever known. Anyway, this song is for her. Oh, one other thing. I didn't write this song. He did. Was it so long ago we were like a flame on the fire wrapped in the glow of a sweet insane desire we lit up the night for everyone to see still the same for me I love you you know you, you know, like we loved long ago, tell me, do you still remember, don't have a go, can't we just sail on together, baby, now it's old, we'll never make it new, but we can make it grow. I love you, you know, I love you, you know, I love you, you know, I love you, I love you, you know.
just shows what a man can do if he stays up all night. Charlie, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been so awful. That was such a beautiful song. All these years, you, you've never said what you said in that song tonight. Maybe I just needed the practice. I love you, you know. This is much too frivolous and <laughs> decadent for me. <laughs> what? What? what is Booby? Booby, Booby. Booby, Beautiful song, no? Like songs from my country. Make me feel sad and happy at the same time. You'd like my country, Adam. In winter, it's very cold. Cold. I wear a big fur hat. It's ugly, but practical. <laughs> At night, friends gather in my apartment. We sing songs, drink vodka, tell stories, laugh, complain about government. Complain about government? I'm shocked. Oh, not our government, your government. <laughs>
to say goodbye. Not goodbye, Vicky. It's just so long. Just me, I'm afraid. I offered her another position, and she accepted. <laughs> I'll speak with you next week, okay? Okay. I'm glad we met. Me too. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, well, it was great fun. But it was just one of those things. Now, Bert, it's not going to be another 15 years, is it? Not this time. Mm -hmm. It's Philadelphia, right? Hey, I'll be there. I got to go to London for two months. Go to Hollywood, make a movie. And then, hey, I'll be there, right? Right. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye. Remember, I love you. Well, college was great, but... Philadelphia ain't all that bad. <laughs> hey, you didn't forget that sexy road, did you? <laughs> I'd like to apologize for spending so little time with you, Mr. Shanker. Oh! No, no, I just became involved in uh, other situations. It's all right, Captain Stilvin. I've learned many things, made many friends. Julie. Tanya, it was nice meeting you, and you still look slinky. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Anushka. Don't go. Stay here. <laughs> Marry me. You are serious? Utterly serious. It's a wonderful idea to be with you always. I can't think of anything more wonderful. But, um, in Soviet Union, I am commissar in charge of cruise vessels. I cannot be this here. Well, but you'll have freedom, fun, sunshine, Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Me? this country very much, yes? Yes. I, too, love my country very much. But... Anna, I've never met anyone like you. And I never will again. My heart is filled with love for you. But you must tell me goodbye. Yeah, I'm. Gosh, we 
doctor, Adam. Have a nice day. She really does seem to have your eyes. Mm -hmm. 